Hey friends! I know it's been a while. I've gotten sick for the past few days. Um, actually, I got sick at IMATS and then I ended up leaving early and then I got sick for a few days. Then I got behind in work and then I just am finally kind of catching up, although I'm... I still feel behind in life in general, but today I'm just gonna take a break from that and film and I wanted to share with you all my IMATS haul. So if you didn't know, IMATS was last week. It was January 18th to the 20th and I went on the 19th, which was my birthday. And I actually got to meet a few people, a few other YouTubers. Specifically, I met... I went there to go and meet Camilla so we could go meet Bunny, which is Graveyard Girl. But yeah, I, I spent most of the afternoon with her and then, let's see. I got to meet Lexi Love 518 and she is gorgeous. She is a sweetheart. If you don't know of her, please check out her channel. I truly believe she's going to be the next big thing on YouTube. And yeah, I, I think I've said that before in my previous channel, but Lexi, I, I love your energy. I love your videos. I truly feel like you're going to be the next big thing. But anyway, um, what else? I've met... Um, I met Graveyard Girl briefly, and then I met Vintage or Tacky. We actually, I think we stayed at the same hotel, but I ran across her um, while leaving the hotel with my boyfriend, and then again at IMATS. I also got to meet Encore, which is great, just because I, he, if you're not familiar with Encore, he, um, he does a lot of theater makeup, and at one point I was really into theater makeup because I was into performance dance. I used to dance with a Filipino dance group, and we used to do, like, little productions in theaters or whatever, but anyway, um, oh, I didn't, like, there were people that I wanted to see that I didn't get to see, which is, um, I wanted to go meet up with, uh, what would Lizzie do? Hi Lizzie, if you're seeing this, but I'm sorry I couldn't say hi to you and all your friends, but I think you came around the afternoon, or I didn't see you, like, much in the morning, but I left early, I left around 3, so that's why I couldn't say hi, and I know that April Athena was there around the afternoon, as well as uh, the style segment, Jessica, I, I heard she was there and I really wanted to meet you all and I'm sorry Lizzie, I didn't, uh, like I had the chance to meet Lizzie at her dance class the week before so that was really cool and she is gorgeous, she is like the best person, I don't know, I think you have a sweet personality and homegirl, if you're lonely, um, hit me up because I'm I'm chilling at home most likely as well and we could go out and have some boba or something but anyway um I also did meet oh bu -bu 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 -bu. um I also missed uh Melissa History Beauty um she's also a local here and she went on Sunday but I do make plans on seeing you girl sometime. So like I said, IMATS is uh, the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. It's held at big cities across the year throughout the throughout the world and this year uh, LA IMATS was in January as opposed to the summertime when it usually was and according to Melissa she said that uh, London IMATS and LA IMATS switch just because of weather and that makes sense because LA weather is more forgiving. They had a bunch of seminars and like lessons and I wish I watched those lectures just because hearing what Melissa said on her video it sounded pretty cool and I'm a little sad that I didn't watch some of those and instead bought a bunch of things. Well, it's not a lot compared to some, but anyway, essentially I bought things at IMATS. And the first place I went to was the Sugar Pill booth and I went there specifically to go get a pro palette for my friend. And while waiting there, I actually got to meet up with two other YouTubers who happened to be standing with me in line, which is Delia Ann and um, AR Makeup Artist, I think that's uh, your two YouTube channels, but like I said, I met a bunch of people. I'll link them all down below, but we've waited for essentially an hour to go see the Sugar Pill booth, and while there, I got these three loose powders, or loose pigments, and the three colors that I got were, so this one is Goldilocks. It's a gold um, pigmented powder. Um, here is Magpie, and it's a dark blue, like a very midnight blue. And then last, I got Royal Sugar, which is this really electric, very cobalt, very, very bold blue. So those were the three shadows that I got. And the first time I went there, they said that 
they sold out at, with the Pro Palette. And I thought that really sucked just because, you know, I stood in line for an hour to go see, to go see this palette and they sold out. But when I met up with Camilla and went there the second time in the afternoon, they actually had it. So this is the Pro Palette. It consists of all three of their quads. And here you go, all 12 colors. Very, very pigmented, very pretty, very bold. It's if you're not familiar with the Sugar Pill brand, it's pretty much a Technicolor punk. It's very bold, very vibrant colors, and it's just very alternative and very fun and very whimsical. So that's the first booth that I went to, which is the Sugar Pill booth. And actually, while waiting for the Sugar Pill booth, there was this lash stand called Elegant Lashes, and I bought a bunch of eyelashes, which they sold um, three pairs for $6, so each eyelash was essentially two dollars each and I took them out of the boxes just for the sake of brevity and showing you all but anyway um these are the eyelashes that I got so um one is like this thicker um more natural looking and this one is like the under um the lashes you put on the bottom of your eye and it's kind of um shorter and thinner and then this one is more of a dolly eye. I feel like it kind of reminds me of a Kim Kardashian eye, almost. So something very, very sultry. And lastly are these fun glitter ones, which I plan on wearing to Vegas for my friend's bachelorette party. So that's it. Those were the eyelashes. And uh, let's see, what else did I get? Um, I went to Lime Crime, which is, again, another indie alternative makeup brand. And... What I got was this um, lilac lipstick. It's very pretty, and I am I'm a sucker for purple lipsticks, to be quite honest. And um, I'm not gonna. I don't think I could wear this as bold outside of the house. But let's see. And this lipstick smells so good. It smells like Mac. Um, it smells like the Mac uh, lip lip glosses, which is like it has this chocolatey taste to it or chocolatey scent to it, and just really really adore it so here it is so while walking around looking for Camilla or waiting for Camilla I pretty much perused all the booths and I stopped by this one booth called CC fashion brush and I got these brushes so the first one I have here is a flat top kabuki and I got this for five dollars and this plethora of brushes right here I think I got them somewhere between like two dollars like one to three dollars so these are the brushes that I got. I essentially got, let's see, I'll probably do an overlay specifying what each brush is. So these were the brushes that I got. And I met up with Camilla and as we were walking around the booth, uh, she actually bought me this and it's my crown brush and it's a like a foundation palette or a a cream makeup palette so you put like your cake foundations or like your cream um, cream based makeup and you use that to either hold your makeup so it doesn't seep into your skin or use it to like mix your makeup so I thought that was really cool and thank you Camilla not only for this but like also for your other gifts and you know for your company and your friendship so hey I love you yeah, and last but not least, I stopped by the Z Palette booth, and I got this while waiting for Camilla, just because I wanted to see the Z Palette up close and personal, just because, as you know, I'm trying to do the whole use it up challenge, and I have a bunch of makeup that I want to use, and I'm also trying to go and scale down, like, all my stuff, and not necessarily scale down, but organize my stuff, so then I could actually use it more. And so I saw the Z palette up close. These were 20% off, and I got the dome one, which is a little bit thicker, and the regular large one. So not only did I want to see the Z palette up close, I kind of started making a similar one myself. And so as you can see, the Z palette is like this magnetized board right here with like things that like could stick on so sometimes certain um, certain pans can be magnetized and that's usually like stainless steel kind of pans and sometimes some of the pans the makeup pans are made out of aluminum so they can't stick to the magnet and so they come with these uh, it comes with these steel um, stick-ons so you could actually have a um, 
a surface that could actually attach to the magnet. And while looking at that up close, I then was able to figure out how to make my own um, Z palette. So this right here is an old, or it used to be my Sonia Kashuk Formal Affair palette that I've pretty much depotted and magnetized myself and placed my makeup on here. So this right here is my face of the week for my use it up challenge. If you guys were still curious about that, I don't know if you knew, but yeah, anyway, um, I think I'm rambling now, but that was pretty much it for my IMATS trip. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely thinking about going to IMATS next year. Maybe I'll go to New York IMATS to go see my New York friends. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. And please let me know with a like or with a rate, comment, or even a subscribe. And I hope to talk to you soon. As I said earlier, I'm trying to get back into the whole YouTube game. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.